Right, so we here at Hype TV are very grateful to have the great Raj, Jared Pillay. Yeah, <laughs> the great Raj. Stand-up comedian and I don't know, are you Indian? I, I have to ask I am question. Indian. I mean like it's not like I'm just a brown dude with a nice weave. You well, know? But, but there are brown dudes with weaves out there that are not Indian. I suppose man, but I'm not really one of the Cat William types, you know. It's just real good hair. I am an Indian guy. I'm just extremely brown. You know? He emphasizes the fact that he's got good hair. That's I, awesome. Well, you know, among other things. <laughs> so tell us about Jared Pillay. Where does he reign from? Um, what does he do during the day? And why is he funny? Where does he reign from? Um, kind of wish I actually was from India. Yeah. I'm not though. Um, I'm not even from Durban. Oh. Durban, for those of you watching this internationally, is, is a, what they call like the little India. The yes. little India in South Africa. It's where they all come from. <laughs> I, I don't. <laughs> Alright. You're from Durban, aren't you? Are you see. No, I'm not. I, I'm, I'm born and raised in Cape Town. Back to you, this guy, man. <laughs> nah. Um, I was born and raised in Cape Town. Um, mostly from the northern suburbs. Okay. So I'm not even a little bit brown. Just all the way. Is that awkward moment when it you is, say brown? It is, it is very awkward, yeah man, but um, I'm not even from Rylands, it's okay. unfortunate. But yeah, um, I'm from Cape Town, I was born and raised here. Um, I'm currently studying acting. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Uh, I love stand-up comedy, man. I like to be funny. Now, now, you mentioned stand-up comedy, you mentioned acting, have you found a correlation with the t between the two? Um, Correlation is a big word. It is a, it is a very big word. Could you, could you use that in a sentence, another one, so I could just... Uh, How do you correlate your comedy with your acting? It's the same sentence though. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, well, I, I suppose, no. I'm, I'm studying acting, so yes. I, I, I don't think, I, I don't feel like I've fully explored uh, myself as an actor in the industry. Um, so I've done a few things, but it's, yeah. it's nothing that I could really sort of find a relation between comedy and acting. Okay, okay. But um, yeah, I like to think of myself as a as a comedian studying acting. Mm -hmm. yeah. So let's so let speak about the comedy itself. I mean, where do you get your material from? Um, my life is messed up. You know, I have, I, the strangest things happen to me, man. Dude, come here, come here to the phone. Yeah. Look, it's like it's messed up. It's, it, everything, Everything that can go wrong with me, it does go wrong, you know, I, like, I've been mugged by clowns. Mugged by clowns? I've been mugged by clowns, man. And that's just weird enough, like, it was... Is that a joke? It's, is that it's, real? It's a joke, but it's real. Like, I've actually been at gunpoint with two men, drug addicts, in clown suits. Alright. Is that awkward silence again? <laughs> awkward silence, man, yeah. Uh, it's, it's so you get your material from, from life from experiences. Life, life okay. experiences um, I try to stay away from stereotypes, but sometimes they're just really funny. Mm -hmm. What can you do? You know? And when you're on a stage, I mean, do you remember your first experience on stage? Yes. Tell us about that. Tell us what, what you felt. Uh, the first time I did comedy um, was at uh, my high school pageant. Okay. Yeah. Um, Quite proud of it. I actually, won. Yeah. Oh, wow. Thanks, man. Um, she voted for me. Uh, <laughs> As no. all moms would. Not, not all moms wouldn't vote for you. I'm just no. saying. Oh, you know, my life is messed up. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I started comedy. Um, I did it for the first time in my high school pageant, and uh, I don't know. I, I just wanted to see what it was all about. I really, I've always liked the idea of stand up, and uh, I did it, and. Uh, about like 600 people there. They're all my friends, so they laughed really hard. And that was great. That was just like confidence to the max. Yeah. And then I won, I was like, I want to try it out. Lovely. So I went down to the armchair and observatory and got my five minutes. Okay. So right there, man. That's an armchair for those of you who don't know, is a little comedy hub. And on Sundays and Mondays, that comes in. It is. Free punt. <laughs> <laughs> so, so have you ever been in a situation where you're on a stage and People are just not laughing. What do you do? You cry. <laughs> I feel like that's the only thing you can do. You just put down the microphone, you go home, and you you uh, you cry and other stuff. But you cry mostly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> but if you if you had to give advice to somebody out there who wants to get into comedy, because I mean you're fairly young at the moment, so you yeah, I'm new and all those things. Nineteen years old. Nineteen years pretty, old. Pretty young. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I would say to someone who wanted to try comedy. Try it. If you don't like it, then don't do it again. Yeah. If you do, then be prepared to die a lot. Cause it's gonna happen. Yeah. When they say die, they don't mean actually. Oh, you. They die. It's when you want to cry. You know, you put it and you're like, oh, I hate my life. I have to die. I want to go home and, and do something and then cry. <laughs> but I don't know if I'm allowed. Yeah, whatever. So if you if you were held at gunpoint like by a clown and yeah. they said to you, please tell us what your comedy is based on. Besides well. Your life, if I had to go say, oh, Jared Pillay is playing there tonight, I can expect to hear this kind of comedy. Um, wow, okay, well, my comedy is very, uh, I do a lot of impersonations and accents, and uh, I think it's just like, it's just really, it's just ideas in my mind. I don't know how to explain this properly, but uh, um, my comedy is, is, is crazy, it's very crazy. It's just really. It's got crazy ideas. It's just mind. crazy ideas, and they all link up and they form some sort of story, and then at the end there's a bit of a conclusion, and then I rap a bit, and that's it. Okay. <laughs> he raps a bit, okay. I feel like that's a bit of a spoiler. Can you give us a bit of a, a rap? Do you want me to actually. Yeah, let's get this to this. I'm a rapper, but not really. Uh, my rapper name is Mad Dog Maharaj Ice Cool the Box. It is. So, it's my rapper name. People are usually very impressed when I say that. I'm just waiting for another awkward sign. Uh, <laughs> do I have to rap right now? I feel like, I feel like this is weird. Oh, no, no, it's fine. It's this guy. I don't wanna, gonna, that's, like, that's like the best joke. I don't want yeah, yeah, no, to let it out. I know we understand. Because you know what happens? People steal your stuff off the actual Yeah, it's, a, it's very original. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, <laughs> how, how do you, your, your parents or your family feel about the stand-up comedy? Um, remember this one time? Um, I was really young. And uh, I think I just watched uh, Russell Peters, mm. um, the, the red, red, white, and brown, or something like that. Right? Russell Peters DVD special. And uh, I watched it with my mom, and then we were driving uh, on the way back from a family member's house, and I was like, uh, Mom, I think I want to be a stand up comedian. <laughs> and I swear she stopped the car, and she was like, No. Wow. <laughs> like, that's not. And now you're doing it. <laughs> It's pretty funny, isn't it? It is quite she, funny. She was at one of my shows like a few weeks ago. It was yes. very awkward. It's good though. She, I think she enjoyed herself. All right. Yeah. After the show, she was just like, I'm going home. Well, at least this time you didn't sit in the her car. No, she's very supportive actually. She's okay. very supportive. No, my mother is very supportive of comedy and what I'm doing. I mean, she's funding me to, to study acting, which is yes, 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 it's yes, not yes, yes. wise for any parent to do. Yeah. Now, we, we know that there are quite a few people out there who are comedians or who think they are comedians and especially in South Africa there are a growing number of people working at this art, this comedy art. Yeah. How close knit are you all? It's a very close knit family. So everyone's cool with everyone, you know. I mean we all sort of stick together. We do, we all stick together. And I mean we all have our own little cliques inside the whole comedy scene, but at the end of the day it's one big family who will hang out after a show and have a beer. So have you ever been in a situation where somebody steals your material? No. No. <laughs> no one can do it. It's too original. There's one time in high school where I wrote this really cool joke about um, <laughs> about this one time I went to Chinatown with my mom and we were in Chinatown and um, uh, there was this like, it's, it's just a joke about how Asian people can be racist sometimes and like they don't understand the full extent of their racism but we were in Chinatown and uh, my mom asked this lady for like, uh, she was looking for a South African flag, she was like, you know, where, where can I find a South African flag? And then this Chinese lady just looked at her and was like, um, <laughs> she, she, she called to this black dude next to her, um, but like he didn't look like he had a job, he didn't look like he was doing anything, she just called him she was like, hey monkey! And I was like, oh shit, that's racism, shit got real. And I, I, I told that joke at school, like in front of my friends. And then they all, they all laughed their asses off. And um, a week later, some other dude was telling that yes. joke, but he put himself in the situation. I was like, dude, like, stealing your material. I'm not even a comedian. Yeah, yeah. What the hell? Yeah. That was weird. It's never happened again since then. Nobody's trying. I never confronted him. Okay.
But obviously it hangs on your mind. It? it does. <laughs> So Jared Pillay, we will have people who will be connecting with you because your links will be on this video. Um, we thank you very much for coming in and chat to us about comedy. Wish you the best with your, with your career. Thank you very much, Sunil. You. There you go. ITV saying cheers. Bye. And cut.